Okay, hello um, students. So we are now going to continue no, the rationalization of your unit test in English. So we, already, we are already done with uh, the first 20 questions. Um, <clears throat> so we still have 30 questions to discuss. Okay, so this question, um, Harry Roque blank, the position since 2020 has been, has been holding had been holding or will have been holding okay so we have here our clue since 2020 that means up until present Harry Roque is still holding the position so the correct answer here is letter B has been holding okay has been holding because the sentence is in the present perfect progressive tense as signaled by the phrase since 2020 next the Philippine government, with all of its officials, blank, one of the largest institution in Asia, am, is, are, and, or will be. Okay? So our subject here is the Philippine government. So the Philippine government is singular. So our linking, linking verb should also be uh, singular. So our correct answer here is letter B is the Philippine government, with all of its officials, is one of the largest institution in Asia. With all of its officials is a kiniang parenthetical expression that is enclosed between commas. So again, our subject is the Philippine government. So we have a linking verb <clears throat> as, um, singular because our subject is also singular. Next, Philippine, American, and Italian are example of blank nouns, adjectives, adverbs or verbs okay so si american at saka si italian it could be a noun at saka it could be an adjective but si philippine here is exclusively an adjective na word so kung noun siya it should be philippines no dili kay philippine kung philippine without s that is an adjective philippines that is a noun okay so the correct answer here these are examples of um, adjectives Ayan. Next, blank here, look blank, new car is parked blank, okay? So, there na T-H-I-R is a kiniang possessive no, na pronoun. And then there, T-H-R-E is kiniang, it talks about the location, did to a. So, sa top sa bisaya pa, it's did to a. They, there is just a contraction or a short form of they are, Okay? So the correct answer here is they are here, look there, na possessive, new car is parked there, did to a. So it's, uh, the correct answer here is letter B. Okay, they're here, look, their new car is parked there. Next, this is the kind of verb that adds D or ED to create its past form. Okay, is it transitive? Intransitive, regular, or irregular. Okay, so pag ang isa ka verb niya ma i transform it into its past form, mag add ka of D or ED that is regular na verb. Okay, irregular na verb naman, um, example ana is um, C. Okay, example ng irregular na verb is C, and then ayahang past is SO. Okay, murapod og teach. Ano niya, yung past is taught. Taught. Okay? Those are examples of um, um, irregular ng mga verbs. Okay? So again, regular ng mga verbs, kung mag, nasa sa past tense o past form niya is, na siya ay D or ED sa yung uh, ending. Okay. So next. Yan, economics. Okay, blank. A required subject. So, economics here is an academic subject, no? So, it is singular, okay? Economics, a required subject in school, but the economics of the country, blank, not improving because sound principles are not applied. So, economics here is singular, so our linking verb should also be singular. So, it should be is, okay? Economics is a required subject in school, but the economics, no, tung second na economics, uh, it's not the academic na subject na economics. 
it's, it talks about the economy of the country, the uh, na, mga, uh, data about the economy of the country. Okay? So this um, word here na economics is a plural. Okay? So that means our linking verb should also be a plural. Okay? So economics is a required subject in school, but the economics of the country are not improving because sound principles are not applied. Okay. Next, um, the test, the thesis, thesis panel did blank on the papers, blank for the incomplete one. Okay. So ang mga thesis panel daw gidawat that is accept ang tanan nga paper, um, kini ang uh, accept no, um, excluding katung mga wala panahuman. So the correct answer here is letter B. Uh, the test panel did accept pa all the papers except for the incomplete one. So, katong wala pa nahuman, that is, uh, wala gipasa, it's because incompleteness is a sign of failure. Okay, next. The convention will gather, okay, blank from the various publishing companies for a day of sharing of good practices. Okay, editor-in-chief, editor-in-chiefs, editor-in-chiefs, or editors in chief okay so the correct answer here is editors in chief no so yung editors yung naka plural it's because uh yung yung position is the editor hindi yung mga chief okay so editor yung position that means ang mga editor man ang mag gather so editors ang ang ato ang editors in chief ang ato answer it's because ang convention mag gather man og mga editors from the various publishing companies, okay? So again, in an hyphenated noun like editor-in-chief, the plural form is given to the first word, editor, since the position is editor, not the chief. Next, four theorists were blank, the famous behaviorists, while blank, Vygotsky and Brunner, were, uh, what, uh, there was the similar view of constructivism, okay? So we are going to use among if uh, we are talking about um, uh, one or kini ang, kini ang more than one, more than two na people um, nga nasa sa group, no? However, we are going to use between if we are talking about two people or two things, okay? So the correct answer here is four theorists were among the famous behaviorists while between Vygotsky and Brunner there was the similar view of constructivism. Okay? So again, among is a proposition used for three or more. In this case, four ka, um, theorists. And then between is strictly for two. Ginagamit nato siya in, uh, when we talk about Vygotsky at saka kang, kang Brunner. Next, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. It's a sentence that used fig, uh, what figure of speech? Apostrophe? onomatopoeia, alliteration, or allusion, okay? Um, pee, 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 pet, pet, pet. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. That is alliteration, okay? So alliteration, uh, this is when the same consonant sound begins words in succession, such as the consonant sound na nasa Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. So yung sound ng consonant, nga P is always naasa uh, pinakauna sa mga words at ang sentence. Next, and now the stars are holding you, holding you tonight, is line that uses what figure of speech? Okay, so we have here the stars. Stars is kini ang uh, dili misha tao, right? However, we put a kini ang na, um, human like qualities sa mga sa stars, okay? So, pag magbutang to ang human-like qualities sa mga objects, uh, sa mga animals, and other things except sa humans, uh, that is kini ang a figure of speech called personification. Okay? So, we give a kini ang human-like quality like in this um, in this instance, nag-hold daw ang stars. Di man makagunit ang stars sa imuha karun ng gabi. Eh. Okay? The stars are holding you tonight. Di man makagunit ang stars. Okay? So holding is kinayang a quality for humans, no? Makagunit sila. Next, Crispin, Basilio, my children is an example of allusion, 
paradox, apostrophe, or onomatopoeia. Okay. So, the answer here is apostrophes. Apostrophes, ginagamit siya if uh, when uh, sa sentence nag nagatawag, no? O kini ang people or someone na uh, they are not there physically, pero ginatawag sila. Okay? So, who was the author of the work that had Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso? Okay. So, the answer here is Dante Alighieri. Okay? Si Dante Alighieri, siya ang nagbuhat ato ng mga um, na, mga works in literature. So, he's famous for his divine comedy na na peace. So this element of the short story is the combination of all events, no, all events, no, from, um, na, which are caused to move because of the conflict. Okay, so tanan event na anaan sa isa ka short story, no, element ni siya sa, sa short story in which gikumbine na ang tanan event. Okay, so this is what we call the plot of the story. Okay, so it contains all of the events of the story from exposition to resolution. Next, a sonnet is a poem that has 14 lines and a total of blank syllables. So each line sa sonnet na ay 10 ka syllables. So na may 14 ka lines sa isa ka sonnet, na each line is na ay 10 ka syllables. So 10 times 14, that is 140 in total ka syllables ang nasa isa ka sonnet. Next, the mouse went squeak as it ran across the room. Nag squeak daw ang mouse. Okay? So, usam ni siya. Um, simile, hyperbole, or onomatopoeia, or personification baka. Okay? So, the correct answer here is onomatopoeia. So, onomatopoeia is the figure of speech directly related to reproduction of animal and nature ng mga sounds. Okay? So, ang mag-reproduce ana is kita ng mga tao kay ato ang mga gina so na, mimic ang tingog sa, sa nature or sa mga animals baka. One of the four, uh, of one of the four, of the four, this is the shortest litera literacy work. Literacy work or literary work ni siya. Dili ni literacy work. Um, one of the four, uh, of the four, di ay nga nung one na kapag basa. Of the four, this is the shortest literary na work. So the correct answer here is the anecdote. It is usually a paragraph or two only and can be used to reintroduce a concept or principle. So it's also used to start a speech. Okay, here. In the epic Beowulf, Grendel was incensed at being disturbed by the noise of the people in the palace. As such, Grendel attacked and killed all of them. Okay, we have here our clue. The attack ni Grendel o gikil ang mga tao. So, what kind of character was Grendel? Okay, bida ba siya or ang kontrabida? Okay, so he, siya ang kontrabida. That is why the answer here is siya ang antagonist. Okay, next. Shakespeare's works like the Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, and Merchant of Venice are example of this Literary genre. Okay? So, wala ko kabasa ang saling Hamlet, wala ko kabasa ang Romeo and Juliet, wala ko ko kabasa ang Merchant of Venice. Pero kabalo ko sa ending sa Romeo and Juliet, na tai chi or namatay silang duha. So that means, all of this uh, work ni Shakespeare, they end up in tragedy. So, kana nga mga work ni Shakespeare, ang genre is tra tragedy. Okay? Hindi siya comedy, hindi siya drama, hindi siya suspense. Okay? Namatay man ang mga bida. Okay? That is tragedy. Na ay sad ending. Okay? His ambition are as high as Mount Everest. Okay? Uses what figures of speech. So we have here his ambition as as high. Okay? Natay as. So that means you are using um, simile. Um, as Mount Everest pag yun. So gipa, gipalabian pag yun ang iyang iyang unsa na pag describe sa iyang ambition. So pagpalabi o pagmamalabis that is hyperbole. So this sentence uses both simile and hyperbole. Hyperbole, hyperbole. Okay. Next, the Holy Bible of the Christians has been around for centuries, yet it remains 
relevant to the present day Christians? What literary standard is shown in this situation? Okay? So ang Christian daw nga Bible no bisag pila ka centuries um millennia na gyud siya mag, mag magduha na ka millennia no ang Bible or apit duha ka millennia okay so unsa daw nga literary standard ang gi show or naa sa Christian nga Bible is it universality intellectual value style or permanence so the correct answer here is permanence no kay nagpabilin gyapon siya nga relevant okay next the harry potter series as well as the edition of disney classics have brought together families no parents and children friends and other people from different walks of life in order to enjoy the stories unfold meaning um uh walay gipili nga kini ang age no ang kini ang harry potter no bisa mga pigulang mga bata no um, mag-enjoy sila sa Harry Potter. So, unsa daw nga klase sa literary standard ang naa sa Harry Potter? Is it permanence, universality, emotional value, or is it style? So, the correct answer here is universality. No, universality meaning uh, walay unsa na tanan maka-relate or maka maka-enjoy sa usa ka literary nga piece. No, so wala siya specific lang gyud kapan tigulang na lang siya nga literary nga work or pangbata lang gyud siya like uh, mga fables, no? So, universality ang naa sa um, Harry Potter na series. Okay, data from the participants revealed that 86% per, wanted to have a limited face-to-face -face class. What chapter in the research is best suited for this, uh, for this? Is it the results, the conclusion ba, the method, data analysis, or the literature? So, data naman. Okay, so data na siya, that means uh, part na siya sa results sa sa ka study. Okay, so na data nga available, uh, i-reveal lang nita nga 86% wanted to have a limited face-to-face -face niya class. Then uh, this kini ang, na, this sentence here should be put into the results na part sa um, research. Okay, so it does not analyze the data, it just present what the study found without an explanation yet 44 there are several punctuation marks in the english language which of these is used to replace the coordinating conjunctions like and but or for yet and so okay so daw ginagamit nato ana para i replace ang mga coordinating conjunctions so the correct answer here is letter letter d semicolon Okay, semicolon na tuldok kuwit. Okay, that is semicolon. Next, complete the sentence with the correct coordinate, coordination, coordination conjunction, coordinated conjunction. Uh, the research was a success. All questions were answered for. Okay, the research was success. Success. <laughs> the research was a success. Okay, the correct answer here is for letter A, the research was a success. For all questions were answered. No, another um, pagsabot sa for is because. Okay, another uh, paggamit aninya or another meaning sa for is because the research was a success. For all questions were answered because all questions were answered. Next, choose the correct answer. Uh, Marilyn herself told me it was true. Na I na ay kama, na ay kama, letter C or letter D. Correct answer here is letter, letter A. So there's no need na to put kama between kang Marilyn o kang herself kay si herself, pwede po na nato siya i-remove, no? Pwede na dito nga, Marilyn told me it was true, no? Um, uh, wala na ay kama, Marilyn kama herself, wala na na siya. Dito na. The spider isn't an insect, Okay? So this is a tag question, no? Nga item. Pag negative gani ang unsa na linking verb here. Uh, isn't, no? That, or is not man siya. The spider is not an insect. So the tag question is a positive pod nga uan, question, okay? 
So the spider isn't an insect. Is it? So the correct answer here is letter C. Is it? Okay? So a tag question is a special construction in English. It is a statement followed by a mini question. So ginagamit nato ang tag question to ask for confirmation. Like, is that right? Isn't it? Oh, do you agree? Um, do you not? Alright, Anna. So, positive statement. Pag positive statement, ang, ang question na nakatag should be a negative. Like, snow is white, isn't it? Pag negative naman ang statement, ang question nga, ang tag question should be a positive one. So, you don't like me. Uh, do you? Alright, so nga na lang. So, pag positive ang statement, ang, ang mini question or ang tag question is negative. Pag negative naman ang statement, yung mini question or yung tag question is positive. Next, blank blank have to make do with what we have if we have to accomplish something. Okay? Well, well, or we all, okay, well, we all have to make do with what we have if we have to accomplish something. Correct right answer is letter B, well. Okay, well, we all, mana siya, it's a contraction of we all. We all have to make do with what we have if we have to accomplish something. 49. Because the moon rotates on its axis at the same time as it blank around the earth, no? we see the same side always. Okay? So, Ang moon mag-rotate sa yung axis okay, at the same time, ga-blank siya, that is, ga-revolve siya around the earth. Okay? Revolves around the earth. Okay? See, si moon here is singular, so our verb should also be singular. Because the moon rotates on its axis at the same time as it revolves around the earth, we see the same side always. Last question. Choose the correct answer. The number of tourists to Boracay increases every year. The number of tourists to Boracay increase every year. The number of tourists to Boracay have increased every year. Letter D, the number of tourists to Boracay are increasing every year. The correct answer here is letter, letter A. The number of tourists to Boracay increases every year. Okay? So that's it. Um, thank you so much for um, watching and listening. I hope uh, you have learned something in this uh, rationalization in your unit test in English. Goodbye and thank you.